if 3 to the x minus 1 times 3 to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 27 to the y power, then what is y equal to? Now, this seems like a complicated problem, but actually it's not that difficult. And if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section, and then I'm going to walk through this problem step by step. And even if you don't have a strong understanding of powers, you're just like, well, I know what 2 squared is. That is 4. Even if it, this is all you know, if you stick with me for a couple minutes, you'll understand this problem that I will assure you of. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this problem. And as I indicated, we are dealing with powers and exponents. Now, of course, these are a little bit more interesting than 2 to the third power. So let's just take a look at this right here, okay? These two expressions. Now, these two expressions here, which is the, what are the, uh, the bases and what are the exponents of these two expressions? Okay, just think about that for one microsecond. So if you say, well, is this the base, this 3, because that's the big number, and is this up here is the exponent? Well, that would be correct. Okay, so this is the base, uh, 3, and this would be the exponent. And in this particular expression right here, 3 is the base, and this is the exponent. How about 27 to the y power? Okay, if you're like, well, is 27 the base and y is the exponent? Yes, indeed, that is correct. So if you understand, you know, uh, what I just said right here, then, you know, you're going to understand how to do this problem, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the rule, the first rule we're going to need in order to do this problem. Now, you can see I have a bunch of examples here, but the rule that we need to understand is this rule right here, okay? And this is the rule for powers and exponents where we're multiplying two powers, okay? We're multiplying two powers, and right here, a to the m, this is a power, okay? And we're going to multiply this power times a to the n. Now, what are the bases here? Okay, well, the bases are a, okay? It's the same, uh, they have the same base. So when you're multiplying powers with the same base, the rule states that we're going to just keep that base and we're going to add the exponents. Now, I know this seems, you know, like kind of crazy, right? For those of you who are like, oh, this looks so complicated. You know, never be intimidated by anything you don't understand in math. I know a lot of the, the variables and symbols get kind of crazy. You're like, oh, my goodness, that must be Albert Einstein stuff. No, no, you just need to understand the language, okay? Remember, remember, math is a language, so if you don't know the language, of course, it's going to seem complicated. But this is what we're saying here is we're trying to multiply two powers with the same basis. So if you want to multiply two powers with the same basis, the rule says just simply add the exponents. Now, why are we interested in this rule? Well, take a look at the situation here. We are trying to multiply two powers, right? This is multiplication right here with the same basis. Okay, so, oh, okay. I see where this Mr. YouTube math man is going. Uh, so let's take a quick uh, look at some examples here of this rule. So 2 squared times uh, uh, 2 cubed, right? Now, the first thing you have to observe is, are the bases the same? Okay, when you're multiplying any powers, you have to ask yourself, do we have the same bases? Yep, 2 and 2. Great, we're, and it's multiplication, so the rule says simply just add the exponents. So 2 squared times 2 cubed is 2 to the 2 plus 3, which, of course, is 2 to the 5th. Okay, and that makes sense here because 2 squared is 2 times 2, and we're going to multiply it by 2 cubed, which is what? 2 times 2 times 2, so we have 5 uh, 2s in total. Okay, we're going to multiply 2 times 5 by itself. All right, let's see how this works with uh, uh, variables. So x to the 4th times x to the 10th. Are the bases the same? Yes, indeed they are. We are trying to multiply, so all we have to do is simply add the exponents. So this would be x to the 4 plus 10 or x to the 14th. No big deal. All right, let's suppose we run into this problem, y to the 3rd times x to the 7th. Can we do anything here? Okay, is there anything we could do with the, uh, this expression? The answer is no. Okay, this is a simple 
as we can uh, write this expression. Well, now, why is that? Because these bases are different, okay? So this uh, uh, rule only applies in, uh, in situations where the bases are the same, okay? And there's about five properties of powers and exponents that you need to understand, and most of them, uh, a lot of these powers, when you're multiplying or dividing powers, you have to have the same bases, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so with that, um, you know, knowledge, we can definitely simplify this. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. So again, I'm saying, all right, I got a power here. I'm trying to multiply it by this power. Uh, the bases are the same. That guy on YouTube says there's a rule when the bases are the same, we can simply, and we're trying to multiply powers, we can simply just add the exponents, and that's exactly what we're going to do, okay? So we're going to take this x minus 1 plus 2x plus 1. What is that equal to? Well, I kind of broke it down right here, x minus 1 plus 2x plus 1. So we can combine x and 2x, uh, those are like terms, that's 3x, and then uh, minus 1 plus 1, the 1s go away. So uh, this, uh, these two uh, expressions right here, when we add them up, we get 3x. So that entire thing is equal to th uh, 3x. So this entire expression right here, when we multiply these two uh, powers, is equal to 3 to the 3x. All right, so let's go ahead and write that now. All right, so at this point, we just kind of just taking this one step at a time. So uh, if 3 to the x minus 1 times 3 to the 2x plus 1 is equal to 27 uh, to the y power, the first thing we want to do is clean up this expression. We said, oh, look, they have the same base. Let's just make a simplified version of this. And now here is our problem, which is a much easier problem to interpret. 3 to the 3x is equal to 27 to the y. Okay, so at this stage, we're going to need... Um, another rule and we're going to need to understand a nice lovely little strategy that comes up uh, very frequently in algebra okay in mathematics anytime you're dealing with powers and exponent problems you want to keep this little uh you know tactic in mind i'm going to show you that in just one second but first i'm going to show you this which is an invitation for you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification button by you doing this it really helps me uh, grow my mathematics classroom okay i'm trying to reach people who are interested in math who are in need help in math okay my objective is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way okay try to teach math in a way that people don't mind learning from right i can uh you know do the same topic in a very esoteric technical manner and that would put people to sleep there to be like this is so boring i'm going to leave this channel i could be we're going to study powers and exponents and the properties and formulas but blah, blah 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 you know this is why people don't like math because it's sometimes oftentimes explained in an overly technical manner okay but anyways i'm trying to help those people you know, get better at math. And if you're one of them, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Matter of fact, this is the way I look right now. Let's move on with the problem. Okay, so here I uh, stated that we're going to need a strategy to continue, uh, you know, solving this problem. So here we have 3 to the 3x is equal to 27 to the y. Now let's just kind of observe. We have one power and it's equal to another power, okay? Now, what if I had this? I'm going to get back to this. You can see here I, I wrote something. What if I had 2 to the 5th is equal to 2 to the x, okay? If I had 2 to the 5th is equal to 2 to, the, two to, uh, two to the x power, excuse me, what is x equal to, okay? Well, if this power is the same as this power and the bases are the same, then the exponents must be the same. These things must be the same, right? So x must be equal to 5, right? This has to be 5 if I'm saying this is equal to this. Well, that is what you want to keep in mind. Or what, this, is kind of the kind of, this is kind of the condition that we want to uh, see if we can set up. And the only way we're going to set this up is to see if we can get the bases the same, okay? Now here, we do not have the same um, uh, bases in these powers, right? This one has 3. This one has 27. So what you want to do is to take these bases, right, that are involved in are the, these uh, powers, and look at the bases and try to write them as the same base, okay? So here, this 27, uh, we can be like, you know what, I could write 27, I could write that base as a power in and of itself. Now, can you think of a power that is the same as 27? 
well, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are saying, oh, yes, I know what that is. Let's go to take a look at what that actually is. So we can think of 27 as uh, 3 to the third power. And, of course, this works out fantastic because now we have 3 as our base, right? So we have 3 to the 3x is equal to 3 to the third power to the y. Okay, so we're almost there, but we need one more rule. And again, there are other rules with powers and exponents, but uh, let's go uh, quickly over this next rule that you need to understand, and that's this one right here. So a to the m to the n. So what does this mean in algebra? Well, if you have a uh, power with a base to an exponent raised to an outside exponent or to an outside power, so a to the m, all that to the nth power, well, that's a, uh, this is going to be equal to n times n. Okay, we just basically take the outside exponent, multiply it by the inside exponent, so that's going to be equal to, again, a to the m times n. Let's go ahead and take a look at some examples here. So 2 cubed, all this squared, all right, this is the situation I'm dealing with, is going to be equal to 2 to the 2 times 3, or 2 to the 6th power. How about x to the 5th, all this to the 4th power? Well, just take that outside exponent, multiply it by the inside exponent, so that's x to the 20th. Okay, so we need that um, uh, this particular rule because here we have a situation. We have an outside exponent that's equal to, uh, or outside, we have an outside exponent uh, being applied to a power in and of itself, right? So this is effectively like our a to the m to our n situation, okay? All right, so how can we simplify this? Easy, y times 3 or 3y. Right, so we're just going to multiply the outside exponent to the inside exponent. So here we go. Now take a look at this problem. Hopefully a lot of you are like, oh, I see how you got the answer. This should be super easy, right? So you're like, wait a minute. Uh, here we have the same bases, okay? The bases are the same, 3 and 3, and this is an equation. This is equal to this. So this and this, these exponents must be the same, okay? And if that's what you're thinking, then you are correct. So here, again, uh, the bases are the same, and we set that up specifically to get these powers um, to have the same bases so we can equate the exponents. This is a very common strategy in algebra when you're working with exponential functions, logarithmic functions, powers. There, powers and exponents are everywhere in mathematics. you got to know how to deal with them. And if you understand this particular problem, it, or the strategies involved, it's really going to help you out in all sorts of uh, different type of algebra problems. Okay, so here we have 3x is equal to 3y. How do we, uh, you know, figure this out? Well, we could just divide both sides of this equation by 3, and we have x is equal to y. So remember, the question, the original question, let's go all the way back up here, is uh, if we had this situation, right, uh, da, 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 is equal to 27 to the y, then what is y equal to? Well, y is equal to x. All right, so hopefully this made sense, and hopefully um, a lot of you out there who, you know, maybe forgot a lot of this stuff, maybe you took it this years ago, um, you know, like, oh, yes, I remember this stuff now. Uh, it just seems a lot easier now than it did way back in the good old days, when, maybe when you were in high school 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, because what, we, <laughs> what were all of us doing in high school. Well, I could tell you what I was doing in high school way back in the good old 1980s, and uh, I was definitely not the best math student, okay? I was pretty distracted, and that was a day be uh, days before cell phones and the like, but I managed to be uh, very distracted, not you know paying attention or really caring what's going on, okay? So you can't, um, you know, you yourself, if you um, happen to, you know, kind of get back into math or you've been away from math for some period of time, don't judge your potential in learning math based upon how you did way back in the, you know, in the good old days, right? Uh, you know, it's likely you didn't really, you weren't motivated. Maybe your teacher wasn't the best, whatever the case is. I'm telling you right now, almost all of you can do fantastic in math if you're interested, you're committed, and you have great math instruction, which, of course, is what I'm trying to deliver. Now, if you want to learn more about algebra, you know, powers and exponents and the like, I'm going to leave links to my um, uh, most popular math courses in the description, which would include, which would include um, pre-algebra, algebra one. Uh, this would be like an algebra one level type of problem. So, you know, if you want my full instruction, really want to get into it, that's the course I would recommend. Also, I have a ton of additional uh, videos on my YouTube channel as well. 
Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.